today I've been asked to share a message with my chiropractic brothers and sisters about the theme for International Women's Day, equality and empowerment. So I thought I would share some of my own personal experience and takes on what that means to me. I need to acknowledge that I was born into a white middle class family and very privileged to do so. I had parents who valued educating their daughters, an opportunity that my mum certainly didn't get in the 1950s. They never really told me that I couldn't do anything. Instead, they tended to ask me, you want to do that? How are you going to do it? And how can we support you? So that is a great example of empowerment to a young woman. I also had a supportive village around me, a community of people, both family and wider, who would always encourage me what to do. As a young woman, that makes an enormous difference to have that positive influence. I was never a natural academic or business person, but I wasn't scared of hard work and I wasn't scared to step outside the square to ask for help and step outside our profession sometimes to ask for help or gain more knowledge as well. Not everything around me was rosy. In the big wide world, I have been put down, I have been insulted, I have been harassed. But despite that hurt, my upbringing taught me the resilience and a sense of justice to keep pushing through. Again, an example of an empowered person. I knew I needed to develop my own personal growth. I knew I needed to develop my communication skills with both genders and all walks of life. And I know that I needed to learn to suspend judgment of other people. These things, I believe, lead to great empowerment. The other aspect is equality. We need to acknowledge that women haven't always been supported in what has been a largely patriarchal world, um, and certainly perhaps male dominance in our own profession. This, fortunately, is changing with 40% of our profession now women. And looking at our educational institutions, we now have offer often more than 50% of students who are female. But they do need support, they do need guidance. Now, both genders think differently, act differently, lead differently. There's no reason why we can't take the best of both worlds and go forward together. We do need to acknowledge how we communicate with one another and I think there's loads to be done in the world of understanding the differences in how we communicate, but forge forward with better communication between us both. Real equality means finding ways to support women, particularly when they want to step into a parental role, to be able to then step back into the profession. Unfortunately, many of our ladies find it hard to step back in and need to be supported, so perhaps we need to look at policies and ways in which we can do that. On the other hand, there are plenty of our young men who are becoming fathers or who are fathers who want to step up more, and if they are supported, then that gives the women more of a chance to step back in, making a more gender equal profession and bringing the qualities of both to our roles as leaders and practitioners in our wider community. The last thing I'd like to say is equality also means calling out those behaviours that are gender biased, the things that we might observe or be around and instead of saying silent, say hey, you know what, that's not okay, there is a different way we can do this. So today in celebrating International Women's Day, I look and ask for you to look to the women around you, give them a hug, give them support. When you raise both sexes to an equal level, it makes for a much more equal world and I think as a profession we can do really well as community leaders. Thank you and take care of each other.